Hello, friends. Welcome to this podcast. Um, I'm going to talk about music. I, I mentioned in another video, I had a, a video about Larry Fast, um, a keyboard player, um, synthesizer programmer, electronic music pioneer guy. Um, really interesting catalog of, of stuff that he did. This sort of represents the early days of electronica. And in that, I, um, I mentioned Wendy Carlos, who I think is perhaps one of my favorites of, of that. And uh, w one of my favorite composers, too, as well, because she's written some amazing soundtrack music that we've all heard in Clockwork Orange and The Shining and Tron. And it's just brilliant use of sound and soundscape design. Um, definite headphone music. But Wendy Carlos did uh, um, the soundtrack to A Clockwork Orange with Stanley Kubrick. And it's it's become iconic when you see that opening shot of Alex in the milk bar that that blah, that strange sound that you hear is Wendy Carlos and as the camera pulls back you hear this almost classically tinged music that has a electronic vibe to his very haunting sounds haunting tones there was a clockwork orange soundtrack album that was released that had the um the cover that was like a white cover with a with an an A shape on it with him leaning out of it with, you know, Malcolm McDowell leaning out of it with a knife. And uh, that album is the soundtrack. It includes a few other classical pieces mixed in. But there was also around that time an album that was released by Wendy Carlos, and it was called um, the Clockwork Orange Soundtrack. And it was, it was um, to me, I like that one so much better. It's a... Um, it is a classic, a classic album. Um, I think it's it's scary in so many ways. The the sounds on here, a lot of there were th there are things on here that weren't used in the film that she recorded, I guess, for the film, but didn't end up in the film. And uh, and there's a lot there's a thing on here called time steps that I think is like proto ambient. Um, it is a landscape type of uh, song. The music is um, the music is almost not music. You feel like you're you're going. I mean, when I listen to it with headphones, I imagine myself sort of on a low flying aircraft, headed toward like a, like a glider or something, headed towards an island for some reason. Because I feel like I can hear waves. And then I feel like I can hear these sort of tribal drums and it's very nighttimey sounding. I know this is weird and esoteric, but it's that kind of music that makes you feel like you're going from one place to another place. You're traveling, you're being guided through a scenario of, of um, cinematic scenario with the sounds. You hear birds, you hear crickets, I think, like electronically generated crickets. And, and it takes you into this... Um, like these tribal rhythms and these it just gets more and more and more intense until finally there's this incredible key change and it just it's it's wonderful wonderful music it's so evocative so visual and i believe um you know stanley kubrick was a very visual director obviously and i believe he heard these things and was like this is almost a movie already you know and that's why I think he decided to get, you know, Wendy Carlos to work so closely on on the films. Um, I'm kind of uh, I kind of wish they had kept doing, you know, movies together. Well, they did uh, quite a few and, you know, the Shining soundtrack and uh, Clockwork Orange. But, uh, you know, Barry Lyndon, obviously, maybe now that I think about it, wouldn't have really worked with electronic music. <laughs> But Wendy Carlos has also put out albums of, of her own compositions, which I highly recommend. Um, she's experimented with strange tunings, you know, microtonal tunings. And there are very interesting, moody albums, haunting. Uh, and she did a, a sequel to the Clockwork Orange soundtrack. Um, which is called Clockwork Black, which I highly recommend. It's uh, 
fantastic collection of of music that wasn't made for a film and it's great it's incredible the, there's a uh, things like sonic seasonings she did the planets like a like a collection of uh music about the um about s some of the planets <laughs> and uh there's some, there's various other albums as well um anything that she did is highly recommended there's a there's a quality very meticulous lots of work went into a lot of these these songs these these pieces of music um, Wendy Carlos very classically trained uh, very skilled um, and also very technical in uh, in the way she put these songs together the the layers the the, the production the sound quality is impeccable it's beautiful beautifully produced I love all of her albums um, highly recommend her as someone to go get into you know you can you can get into this and go into these albums and there's so much there and it's it is electronic music there are voices um, in some cases I guess some samples and voices and um, things like that and, and whatever maybe some other kinds of acoustic instruments mixed in as well but in general um, Wendy Carlos is known as an electronic musician. She's another one of those uh, musicians that you see in front of a giant bank of knobs and lights and patch cords and all kinds of technology that makes that technology over there look sort of pale. Um, but, but yeah, definitely track her down and find everything you can. And uh, it is absolutely fascinating wealth of really interesting music and sort of you know predates a lot of electronica that we hear now the electronic music idm edm whatever dms um i very much recommend it if you want to if you're into classical music and uh, get those early switched on albums um and those are those are just really fun to listen to even if you're familiar with the with the classical the original classical orchestra orchestral versions of those of that music it's interesting to hear them reinterpreted, uh, like rebooted in a different format, like in a different dimension. It's it's fascinating. But anyway, um, love Wendy Carlos and uh, thanks for listening. And uh, I will talk to you again real soon.